It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these AFC East foes. It's the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets, and it comes your way next. On a warm late summer afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it will be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New York Jets. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. And then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. to get this one started and we are underway from MetLife Stadium and from the end zone Deontay Hardy will bring it out and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 now here come the Bills for their first possession led out by their 27 year old quarterback in year six it's Josh Allen and it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great another 13 win season last year and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Into the air right away is Allen. Finds his rookie tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's not locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. They run for the first time with James Cook. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. That's Deion Dawkins, the left tackle. Here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. to the ground this time cook and he is going to have a bill's first down as they're able to convert albeit not by much on third and a yard and that's the way you get an opening drive going pick up the first down convert on third down and how about doing it old school style doing it with a run and play line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 now allen setting up the screen for cook and this will leave him a yard short 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. They'll run with Cook. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So the new look Jets ready to go on offense. And it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this, this is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. On first down, Rodgers over the middle and complete to Wilson. The result only four yards there on the play at its second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. On second down, here's Rodgers. Fights loose. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now a second and six. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. And Rousseau took the jump everyone hoped he would in the second season, doubling his sack total to eight, despite playing four fewer games than his rookie year. So here's a third and 14. To throw, it's Rodgers. That is incomplete. 
Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Thomas on fourth Morstead. down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Deontay Hardy back deep. Wiggles free. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Throwing on first down is Allen. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. The Jets got solid production from Carl Lawson in year one with the team with seven sacks. They wanted to be an even bigger presence in year two as one of the many playmakers in their strong defense. Left side, Cook. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. On first down, Allen. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Pass incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable, usually an excellent target, and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep for the Jets, McCole Hardman. The call for a fair catch and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. This is second and eight. They run it again with Cook. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big-time back in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, these guys are hard to find. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. Now Rodgers. This one finds Wilson downfield. Jets are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Zerline good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. 
The drive there only spanning three plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And it'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. To the air, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Allen looks to throw on second down. Got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Allen off the play fake. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On play action, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. There they are stop him but he does take it all the way to the two better than a 30 yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the corner when teams practice their plays during the week they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day so it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game and they hit that one there for big yardage Now Allen again. Uh, he's got it. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. These two teams all tied after one. 
The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they come up now, second and goal. Cook. And he's not going to push his way forward. He's going to be stopped at the two-yard line. He tried to break that plane, but couldn't get there. That's going to leave him now at third and goal. This Jet defense so far standing tall. They need another stop now, third and goal. Again, it's Cook. And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills have taken the lead. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. But once again, here comes Garrett Wilson in the Jets' offense. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast and in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. That one goes for 24 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Well, certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. And meanwhile, Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And yeah, that will bring up second down. There it is, the defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too, you know. Three straight first down type plays. Yeah, they wanted to make one stick on their side, didn't they? Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Open man here is Conklin. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Rodgers to throw. This is caught. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second and one from the two. 
Cook up the gut. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Dalvin Cook taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Here's Allen. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Carl Lawson. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage, what they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Allen's throw is complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line 12 yards needed to gain a first down throwing is Allen on third able to find the open man that's complete and that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 43 give them 22 there on the third down conversion So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Allen going to throw. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. He's got, puts it on the carpet, it's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Rodgers going to throw. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Throwing is Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 38. To throw is Rodgers. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Rodgers. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And that is no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. So an eight-play drive gets them down there, but play number nine, that winds up a missed field goal. And they definitely move the ball well. That's a drive where you hate to come away with nothing. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. From just shy of midfield, here's second and six. They'll try the middle with Cole. On an 
determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. A strong play from last year's second round pick who didn't get a lot of carries as a rookie with the Bills, only 89. But he made the most of them though. A 5.7 yard average, good enough to lead all running backs had he qualified. This is a young man who's proved he's worthy of a more feature role in the Buffalo offense. 20! And they move this all the way down to the nine. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. To the air, Allen. Over the middle, it's complete. Touchdown, Bills. Trent Sherfield, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have taken the lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, come get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time. Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They work now on second and nine. Here's Rodgers. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing now is Rodgers. Forced out to his left. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Now Rodgers, he's got the hook up here with Cook. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Y'all got time, let's go. Now second and five. Now it's Rodgers. Locates Hardman for another catch. 
Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he completes it to Wilson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama as the first half is winding down. And the Jets have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today, it's track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. A final shot before half for Allen. And that one too wide and incomplete. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard taken at the goal line and out a little across the 25 to the 27 
of this offense and Garrett Wilson headed back out. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Finds Lazard quickly on the slam. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down, they go right back to Cook. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. On the slant, he's got Hardman. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. From the 33, here's second and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. He finds Wilson. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 12-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. This drive has been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. From the three, second and a yard. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now Rodgers. He's got his man. That's Hardman. Touchdown, Jets. Miko Hardman from four yards out. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Zerline good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. To throw, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. They run again on first down, Cook. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second down, Cook. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Here's Allen. Open man is Diggs. He's got him. Touchdown. Allen on target there to Stefan Diggs. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are all tied at 28. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Now Aaron Rodgers and the offense heading back onto the field. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone Describe the game as really slowed down. Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail just space. Ball, snail space for him, and he can do whatever he wants with it. He has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already. 
So he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Getting the ball is Cook running left. He's got it to the 43 here. Here's second and seven. Rogers gonna throw. He'll get this to Lazard. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. now on first down and that one drops down incomplete good coverage there forced the ball free and it's second down Bill with a dime look on defense two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play third quarter all tied up this is second and ten back to the ground Cook running right through it and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Well, partners, my old man used to say, make sure you strap up tight if you're going to try and stop one of those big horses out there. As you just saw there, this guy does not go down easily. Throwing is Rodgers. Touchdown, Jets! Four touchdown passes now for and the Jets are going to take the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw into defense. They had no answer for that right there. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good, and they've jumped back ahead, 35-28. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10.
Here's Allen to throw it. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Brings up second and four at their 48-yard line. Now Allen. It's hauled in by Hardy. First target, first catch at a first down. Final minute now in the third quarter. A give. This is Cook. Down to the 42, second down. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and seven. Allen going to throw. It's complete to Diggs. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 23. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. To the air. Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Well, that last run for a first down, it really should be the last straw for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box, they need to add more people. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Cook fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. Well, one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know one thing. The team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. Yeah, in the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's second and ten. Handoff comes to Cook. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Back near the goal line, here's Rogers. And that will be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. On the return, Hardy. 
They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Throwing in a traffic there, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him, giving him the ball again, and he repaid him, picking up a first down. On first down, Allen. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out. And the football will be on the 25-yard line. And the Jets set to take the field. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. takes it across the 40-yard line. 83 yards rushing now for Cook, and this is a first down. Anytime you hear the term an explosive run, most teams I know define that as any run over 10 yards, and they got that and more. How about a lot of credit for the big guys up front? That offensive line firing out, creating plenty of space, and a big run ensued. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Again, it's Cook. Now he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. 63 yards receiving for him now. That last catch, good enough for a first down. Now he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Run plays like that, those big D tackles love them. That's when they eat. Especially when they're the defensive tackles that we're watching right now. 
that dictate things on the line of scrimmage. They can't move them the way that they want to. They're just standing up, whipping the offensive linemen and making plays. To throw is Rodgers. He's got to hook up to Lazard. Five yards, now it's third and five. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot, so what can they do to get closer now on third down? A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in and had just enough to get it done. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. James Cook running back out now. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Now a second and 10. Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 126 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Pushes past him. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. Call it a gain of a yard and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. On play action, Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. Thus 
far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To throw, it's Allen. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets will take over here at their own 14-yard line. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. So out now come the Jets. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 15 yards is the pick up there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and six. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. To throw is Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. So the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, Quick throw out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted them. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss.
Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Allen and the Bills now. Down by six. 56 seconds to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. To throw is Allen. And that's complete to Davis. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. No time match. You got to go quick here. Now Allen. Out to the left. He's got his tight end, Knox. And he's brought down. Close to field goal range now. Get up, get set, and spike it. Well, this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. treated to in this one and on that final play they had a chance they had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot but couldn't get it done and they suffered the loss yeah and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen a really good ending to an entertaining contest though